All right, welcome to today's Wirecast uh, tutorial, and today we're going to talk about adding a second camera on top of your main camera view for maybe a scoreboard. Um, so we're going to act as my FaceTime camera being my main camera, and let's say you have the Logitech C920 or a secondary Firewire camera um, or Intensity Extreme camera that we want to add on top of this layer. So let's. this is our main camera here. And you, there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can come over here and add that second camera right like that so it's in your shot list. Or you can double click on your main camera that you're going to be editing. And you can bring that over here. And you can add a source by clicking the plus button here and coming and adding that source. Obviously a web camera you can't zoom in. Um, so you're going to have to make that clock bigger if um, you have it on top. And obviously it just took over my main camera view, right? Because it's on top in the sources view. So I can go ahead and I can move this camera around uh, by hitting command, clicking my trackpad, and moving my finger up and down or moving my mouse up and down changes the size of that image. And remember, I have to be selected on the web camera that I'm choosing. If I'm selected on this one, it will not work. I'll be moving the main camera. So I'm selecting that, it's highlighted, and I can move it around and I can make it bigger. So let's say this is my clock right down here, and we'll make that bigger. And then I come over to this button right here, and this is our cropping tool. And we can come over here, we can crop this all the way down to right around the clock, so then you can see your main camera. So now, We can crop this just around the clock and put it right there. Um, if you guys are experiences, experiencing the same thing that I just did there with the bug, um, when you click on it and try to move it and it blurs it out, please let me know um, and we'll try to get that fixed. But um, should just be able to click that if you try to move it around, move the cursor back and forth. So come back in here go to the cropping tool, you try to move that, so move it to where you want it and then move the cursor back to where you want it to be and it should stay and just click the X button and you'll have to come over here and hit go and now you have your clock in the bottom corner so you can make it the whole scoreboard or you can make it next to your blue scoreboard or if you have the pro version next to that scoreboard there's a couple different ways to do that um, but Feel free to contact me if you have any questions, but that's how we add a secondary camera on top of your main camera for a scoreboard.